we've got to start in the archive because that's where it all begins anyway. Hey there, I'm Portia Hopkins. I'm the university historian. And today we talked about tracing the black experience at Rice through the university record. I posed it as this is a co-collaborative effort so we can think about the ways that as students, faculty, staff, community members, we can really come together, wrap our whole arms around this archive and really make it an inclusive space for everyone. You can't have a uh, presentation in Houston without making a Beyonce reference. I'm sorry I hold that very near and dear. So this is um, a black renaissance in the archive. Act One really talked about the construction, the entrepreneurship that was here, the way that black people um, related to the institution by way of labor. And then Act Two um, talked more about integration and desegregation, how black people moved within this space. Um, and Act Three was about protest movements and how black people created and cultivated spaces, safe spaces for themselves, but also challenged the status quo regarding racism and also the Willie statue, of course, which we ended on. We gotta record these stories. You have a phone, you have the ability. We are co-creators in this archive. Um, we can do this together. I really want everyone to think about the way that like they can do something themselves, right? Like it's it's not just Team Woodson that can, you know, preserve and keep these histories. It's also, these could be co-collaborative, crowdsourced, um, archival opportunities for people to think more critically and holistically about our history here, right? Like, right, black history is American history and black rice history is rice history. So we should all be co-collaborators in um, creating those archives.